Hi, Stephen here from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexterious TV. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix a ceiling crack. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that I use for this task please feel free to check out the links in the description below and also if you're planning on doing any other decorating works please feel free to check out my tool store. The link is also in the description below. So with that said Let's do this! The tools and materials for this task is a multi-tool scraper, a dust mask, filling knife, cork board, scrim jointing tape, Jiprock Easy Fill 60, 80 grade sandpaper, standing blade, PVA glue, a dust brush and a sash brush. This is the ceiling crack that we're going to be repairing. First of all we need to get the loose off, so for this I'm using the combination of the multi-tool and the claw end of the hammer and what's important here is, is that we get this back to a nice hard edge. What I'm doing now is just filling it to make the surface nice and nice and even for the joint intake. So because the the gap isn't wide enough for the joint intake to sit in, so I've decided with this one I'm going to fill it first, then put the joint intake on top. See also when I scraped it, I've got this back to a nice hard edge, and I didn't feel the need to make it any wider for the joint intake to sit in. Here are some other areas on the ceiling that need to be repaired. Before I apply the jointing tape, I just run my multi-tool scraper over the area making sure there's no proud bits. I'm using PVA glue to stick the jointing tape um, on with because it's not going to stick so well on this bit of filler. So to make sure it sticks, I use the PVA glue. And also, I'm not going to be coming back to it um, for a while, and I don't want the jointing tape falling off the ceiling. I just brush a bit more PVA glue over it just to doubly make sure it's not going to fall down. If you would like to purchase the similar tools that are used for this task, please feel free to check out the links in the description below. And also, please feel free to check out my tool store. The link is also in the description below. Here are the areas where the gaps were wide enough and I was able to put the joint in tape on first before I applied the... Jip Rock Easy Fill 60. This is the first of three fills that I give it. And if you notice, when I fill it, I get wider and wider and wider each time because this way I'm feathering out the jointing tape to the ceiling. But also, when I'm filling, I fill cleanly and along with leaving it to dry in between the first, second, and third fill. Remember, the cleaner you feel, the easier it is to sand. You know, when this is done, it's not going to be 100% perfect because perfect don't exist. But what I do know is, is I've done my best. And when you do your best, nine times out of ten, it always works out in the end. So remember, progress, not perfection.
once it's all dry, it's ready for a sand down. I like to go over it first with some neat 80 grade sandpaper, then finish it off with some worn down 80 grade sandpaper. Then once it's sanded, it's ready for a dust off and ready for painting. Here are the other areas that I was working on, also ready for painting. And here's a reminder of what they did look like before we started. And here's what they look like now they're all finished and painted. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notified of when I release my next video. Remember, it is free. Also, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section, please do so because that's how we all learn and grow. Thank you very much for watching and take care.